Hey everyone, it's Mona B here. So I'm back today with another video. So today's video I filmed a two strand twist styles I guess you can call it. Um, It's like a styles with two strand twists that are so easy to do. I wanted to do this tutorial because I know a lot of people don't know how to flat twist or may not know how to French braid as well. So this is a great alternative and I just did two quick and easy styles that you can do when you don't know what to do with your hair. And yeah, so Here's one of them. We're just going to go ahead and jump into the video. I hope you all enjoy it and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. So here I'm sectioning off my hair at about a half an inch and I'm going all the way across. Following that, I'm just going to go ahead and clip the back portion of my hair back so it doesn't get in the way. These styles are going to be done on a stretched twist out that I did a few nights before. So in the front section of my hair where I sectioned it off at, I'm putting two strand twists there. And I'm doing dry two strand twists and I'm just adding conditioner when needed like to my ends. Since my hair is short, I'm doing small twists. You can do your twists whatever size you like. And when you're done twisting, your hair should look something like this. Now it's time to start styling. So here I'm just showing you that I'm using closed bobby pins. Y'all, this is so simple. So basically what I'm doing is just like grabbing three twists at a time and kind of overlapping them, then cleaning them with the closed bobby pin. So I'm basically just like creating like a twist headband. So you can basically just play around with it and pin it to how you like it. So that's what I'm just doing here. Here's a quick tip. Since my hair is really short, I went ahead and bought the clothes bobby pins that are an inch and a half. They fit so perfectly within this twisted headband because they're not long and you can't see them. So if you do have short hair, I would highly recommend you purchasing those ones. So I'm just continuing to grab three twists and just kind of wrapping them around each other and then pinning them back. And then the ones that are on the side that are a bit shorter, I'm just going to pull those upward to the um, headband and then I'm just going to pin them. I forgot to mention that I did leave some hair out on the sides. This is optional and I'm just putting some gel on them to get my little curly cues popping. But as you can see, I was struggling with them. <laughs> can y'all guess what the next step is? Yeah, y'all already know I got to get that Eco Sour gel and lay my edges down. Yes. <laughs> I applied some olive oil edge control on top of the Eco Styler gel just to give me extra hold because I will not be using my scarf to tie down my edges. I'm just going to let them do their thing. <laughs> Alright, so I already removed the clips from the back portion of my hair. So now I'm just picking my hair and fluffing it and getting it to how I want it to look. So here is style number one all finished. It is so cute and simple and it's just so easy to do. I love it. So here I'm just going to go ahead and add a headband. I'm just showing you all that this look is so versatile and it just adds a really nice touch with the headband. So cute. Alright, alright, so let's just go ahead and jump into style number two. I already removed the pins out of my hair from style number one. So what I'm doing is I'm just sectioning off the twist on two separate sides and I am just going to tuck the twist under and pin. So I'm kind of doing like a twist, like a roll twist. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take a open bobby pin and I'm just going to go ahead and secure that first little roll and tuck that I did and I'm rolling towards my face. I went ahead and added another open bobby pin, but I didn't like the way it looked or feel because it started showing. So then I just went ahead and started back using the closed bobby pins. So if your hair is like a little bit shorter on the sides like mine are, just go ahead and um, use the closed ones. 
like I mentioned before, the twists on the sides of my hair are a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin them upwards in the twist. I'm not going to roll them down. And then I'm just going to secure that with a closed bobby pin. So here I'm just pinning the extra pieces that are kind of sticking up. Feel free to use more pins if you need to to get it how you like it. Then just go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side. Then just go ahead and remove the clips from the back portion of your hair. Get your pick and pick your hair to your liking. And here's look number two, all finished. I don't know which one I like the best. I love them both, they're just so cute. And here I'm just showing you that look number two can be worn with the headband as well. Be sure to comment down below and let me know which one you like the best and which one you may actually go ahead and try on your hair.